All right, this is the advanced coding video for the MySpace band DIV overlay. Um, basically, I'm just going through the coding little by little. I'm doing whole complete code in front of you on camera instead of how I did last time. Um, basically, we'll be using Pixel Ruler. It's downloadable from my site. We'll be using the band DIV code, the three part code that's also downloadable from my site. The only other thing you'll need is your MySpace account. All right, so once you have all that, we can go ahead and continue. All right, we start off by going to MySpace, going into safe mode. You cannot go into edit profile because the actual DIV overlay will show up over the MySpace content and you will not be able to edit the code. You want to put the first part of the code in the bio section. Open the folder for the code, select the bio section, just copy the code. I hit control C, that's why you can't see it on the screen. We're going to go ahead and paste it in there, preview, and submit. This is just the way I like to do it. You can do it all in Notepad if you would like, but I do it in my space. We're going to repeat this process for the other sections. Moving on, we're going to be hosting the images. I'm going to use ImageShack.us to do this. You can use TDPix if your file is not too large, or you can use your own private host, or you can go to grandfisher.com forward slash forms, and if you don't already have an account, go ahead and make an account and use the image host offered on his site. But any hosting that allows big images will be fine. Do not use PhotoBucket because it resizes the images and it would be too small. So basically, we're just going to upload the images. I like to upload them all at the same time, so they're all handy when I need them. All right, now all the images are uploaded to our host and we have all the links in front of us. I'm just gonna minimize this window to use it later and we're gonna go back to MySpace. All right, now I'm gonna to go to safe mode, members, and what we're gonna be doing is putting the first image on the profile. So we're going to go down to where it says just below is the code where you put the URL overlay image. 
if you're doing it in MySpace, you should have a link in there already, and it's just going to be for the Terms of Violation GIF. I'm just going to replace that link. Go over to my other browser, copy the link from my host, highlight the link from MySpace, and just paste right over it. Now we need the width and height of the images, so I'm just going to go to the folder on my desktop that I have the images saved to. Right click on the image, go to preview, or sorry, properties, go over to details, and it'll give me the dimensions right there. I'm going to take that, I'm going to go back to my space, and I'm going to put those in right where it says width. My width will be 800, and my height is 1500 well 1518 preview that submit it and our image should be on myspace there we go all right moving on I'm just going to show you real quick how to put a background image on here. I don't have one made, so I will not be putting one on. Go back into safe mode. We're going to go to the member section. It's going to be the first part of the code. So let's say just below is the code where you put the URL for the background image. And then it's pretty much right at the top. So let's say body, background image, URL, image URL here. That's just where you put the URL, and you're good to go on that. Now I'm going to show you how to use Pixel Roller real quick to help with positioning. My band player is already positioned on a stroke of luck, so we are just going to open Pixel Roller. I'm going to click on Pixel Roller to make it go vertical. I'm going to place it as top of the browser as I can get it, and I'm just going to go down until I'm at the top of the object that I want to put in there, and it's around 304. 305, something like that. But basically, you take that, you're going to go back into safe mode. Go to the bio section. Closer to the bottom of the bio section, you're looking for a spot that says position, artist, and band player. It's going to say top, which mine's already set to 405, which is correct. It's going to say margin left, and that's where you adjust your left and right position of it. Now it's going to be trial and error mostly for margin left but just how I showed you is how you're going to do the top. Alright we're going to go on to positioning the friends and comments which I'm pretty sure mine's already positioned but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do that. If you didn't notice the friends and comment code is pretty much right under the actual band players code. It's right here actually. And my friends and comments pretty close to my band player. So what I'm going to do is open Pixel Roller and measure the space between my band player and my friends and comments section where I want it to start. And that's about 484 pixels. So I'm going to write that down in a notepad I have open. And then I'm going to measure the width of my, or the height of my artist and band player. It's going to be around 347. All right, now I'm going to add the height of the band player where it's positioned, plus the actual height of the object which is 347 plus the space between the friends player or the band player and the friends and comment section and that should be the position or around about the position for my friends and comment section and it's right around there so that's the top now how I have it is I have the band player or the friends of comments section 
going all the way to the left and all the way to the right. So that all I had to do was do it position negative 400 pixels. It will sit right at the edges of the actual layout. So this is going to be the last part for this video. You can go on to video 2 of the advanced coding.